Bye-bye. Hello, good evening. A couple in their 70s have been rescued from their home in the borders after snowdrifts surrounded their house. Mountain rescue teams and police were called to West Linton yesterday afternoon. Snow is continuing to cause some disruption to public transport, although many more services have been running today. Katie Hunter reports. A house surrounded by 12 feet of snow. The couple who live here had no way out. This was the moment police and mountain rescue volunteers helped them and their dogs to safety. On Thursday night, they had um, realised that the snow was drifting and there could be a potential problem. On Friday morning when they woke up, they found that the snow was up to the windows and they genuinely couldn't get anywhere. In addition to that, they'd run out of wood for their burner, and um, which put them in a potentially life-threatening situation because if they'd lost heat to the house, then it would have got very cold very, very quickly. Snow drifts on the West Coast mainline too. The driver of this test train knew when he was beaten. Conditions like this have disrupted trains running across the border for a fourth day. We've cancelled all non-essential works tonight to make sure that all our resources are out to make sure that we can clear as much of the railway as possible, whether it's out at junctions and points. We're clearing platforms to make sure it's safe for people. So we're actually hopeful of a near normal service tomorrow, which should set everything up for people going back to work on Monday morning. So very, very hopeful that we can provide a really good service come Monday. There's a warning it'll take longer than that before food shelves are fully restocked. Things like fresh food, fresh meat, fresh vegetables, these are going to be quite hard to get because everything is done at a very last minute. Uh, the this, this system is just in time, so there's not a lot of uh, slack in the system. So it's going to be about a week before I think supplies of everything get back to normal. But as the snow melts, there are other potential problems. We have to be alert to the dangers of the, the thaw taking place too quickly and resulting in significant increases in the water flow within the country. And that obviously affects travel advice in terms of uh, whether there's flooding on the roads or uh, around the country. So we just ask people to follow the advice and uh, cooperate with public authorities. The Deputy First Minister has also praised people's community spirit. Locals in Bears Den near Glasgow have been taking matters into their own hands. We put a call out on Facebook, uh, based on community on Facebook, to try and get as many people as possible to come and do a bit of clearing. Uh, thankfully, a, a friendly farmer with a tractor came along with a snowplow, and that's really helped to clear the main bit of Stockingmere Avenue to allow essential deliveries down to the co-op down there, and also saw an ambulance coming up earlier on as well. Conditions are improving, but for some communities, life is still far from normal. Katie Hunter, reporting Scotland. The body of a woman has been recovered during the search for Hillwalker Alison Fox. Police and mountain rescue teams have been looking for the 51-year-old after she got lost in the Oakle Hills. Police say a 45-year-old man has been arrested in connection with the death of a man in Midlothian. A 41-year-old was found seriously injured in Woodburn Road in Dalkeith this afternoon. Football and there were two quarter-final ties in the Scottish Cup. Celtic beat Morton 3-0 at Celtic Park and Aberdeen and Kilmarnock drew 1-1 and will replay in 10 days' time. Weather now with Judith. Thank you very much, Laura, and a very good evening to you. We're not quite out of the woods as far as the wintry weather is concerned, although we're starting to see a gradual thawing, and it will be a gradual thawing, so it is a good thing. Seems like this across many parts of the country today. There is still a yellow Met Office be aware warning. It's a combined warning for both snow and ice and force, particularly affecting eastern Scotland. There'll be frequent snow showers pulling in here as we head to the course of the evening and overnight period. Ice will be a major concern really right across the country tonight. Drier in the west with some clear spells. Still that keen easterly breeze for eastern parts in particular. Overnight lows typically of around freezing to minus two Celsius. So tomorrow those showers keep pushing in across eastern Scotland. There will be fewer in the west. There'll be a generally cloudier day, anything brighter destined for western Scotland. We'll see something brighter, I think, for Shetland tomorrow with fewer wintry showers, but the showers keep piling in for Orkney, Caithness, for the Grampian area as well, in towards Tayside, Fife, the Lothians and Borders. As the afternoon wears on, though, the showers starting to turn to rain to lower levels as across southern Scotland. Fewer showers for the west coast, the best of sunshine for the West Highlands and Sky and the Western Isles, but feeling pretty cold across the board. South of the border, 
Low pressure driving our weather, meaning unsettled conditions, outbreaks of rain, but we are starting to draw in milder air across the far south. So that will gradually transfer north to us on Monday. Outbreaks of rain and hill snow in the north on Monday, lighter rain in the south, and starting to get that wee bit less cold. That's your forecast. Judith, thank you. Finally, a bride who thought her big day was ruined by the snow has had her white wedding after all today. Cameron and Angela, that's how I now pronounce you, husband and wife. So you may now kiss your bride. Yay! Sealed with a kiss, but it wasn't quite the wedding Angela and Cameron Watt had planned. Oh, it's snowing! <laughs> the car park at Stirling Castle became the venue after the couple's choice on Loch Lomond was cut off by snow. A tractor cleared the path for the bridal party. I'm the chauffeur. And it was all hands on deck. The most important thing for us uh, is, has, is always about the love that we yeah. share and being married. So the fact that uh, literally hours ago we didn't have a wedding anymore, we didn't have a venue, we weren't going to be married. Marriage according. Warmly wrapped, Stirling Registrar Lynn Phillips stepped in and organised the unconventional venue. Oh, it's the most unusual one I think that I've done, or the coldest one anyway that I have done. Um, but it's been a pleasure to make the couple happy, just they were so determined to get married today. So. And while the ideal wedding doesn't usually end with a fight, this will surely be a memory the couple will never forget. Congratulations to them. That's all for Reporting Scotland for now. Gordon Brewer is back with Sunday Politics Scotland from 11.30 tomorrow morning. And there's more new sport and weather from us at 20 past six. Until then, from all of us here, good night. Getting Saturday night started next as we head back a few decades. Stars from the 90s have a go at 21st century quizzing with pointless celebrities. Ten finalists battle it out to be crowned champion. You sang like your life depended on it. The